Hi class, today we're going to be talking about how I can estimate the position of a number on a number line. Remember first graders that these are called number lines. Sometimes there's the lines in between and then sometimes there won't be lines in between. Let's take a look at these three numbers 45, 42, and 47. We're going to order those on our number line. This number line goes 40 to 50. Let's start with 45. 45 is in the middle between 40 and 50. So in the middle is about here. Since there are individual lines, I could also count by 1. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and I end up at the same line that I said was in the middle. I'm going to write 45 there. I'm going to flip this over so we know we're done with that one. Our next number is 42. 42 is less than 45. So 42 is closer to 40 than it would be to 50. Again, I could count each of these lines to help me find it. So we have 40, 41, 42, and that is closer to 40. Our last number to place on the number line is 47. Now 47 is greater than 45, so it should be closer to 50. Let's start at 45 and count on 45. 46, 47. And now we've placed all three numbers on the number line. We have 42, 45, and 47. The number line shows the numbers in order. Now we're going to try this one down here. You'll notice that this number line doesn't have each of the individual lines, so we can't count by one. We will actually have to estimate the position for the next three numbers. Our next three numbers are 25, 28, and 21. So we're going to use those three to place them on this number line. Let's start with 25. Well, 25 is in the middle between 20 and 30. And this line is in the middle. So we're going to place 25 right there. Now we have 28. Well, I know that 28 is greater than 25. So it should be closer to 30. I have a spot right there that is greater than 25 and close to 30. That's where 28 would go. Finally, we have 21. I know 21 is less than 25. So 21 is also going to be closer to 20. I have a line here that is close to 20 and less than 25. That's 21 spot. So now we have 21, 25, and 28 in order. I have one more for us to do together. This one, you'll see we have 30, 40, and 50. And the numbers we have are 46, 33, and 49. Let's start with 46. Well, I know that 46 would be between 40 and 50. But I have two lines between those two. I have to think, is 46 really close to 50 or it'd be more in the middle? Well, 46 is one more than 45. And 45 would be in the middle. So 46 would be closer to that middle line. Then I have 33. Well, should 33 go closer to 30 or closer to 50? It should go closer to 30 because 33 falls between 30 and 40. Finally, we have 49. We have one spot left, but we have to think about it first. Is 49, would it make sense for it to be really close to 50? 
Yeah, because 49 is bigger than 46. And 49 is only one away from 50. Thanks for tuning in, first graders. And now you can complete your practice sheet.